Whilst purely raiding settlements in the hope that a specific material you need is there is arguably not the most efficient method of gathering that material there is a huge amount of value in looting settlements just to gather non specific mats that can then be used or traded at a starport bar to get you the mats that you do need. One of the issues commanders newer to Odyssey's material gathering have is that the settlement raiding whilst huge fun is, in my opinion, much more enjoyable when you have upgraded weapons or suits to better facilitate the raiding but of course you can't upgrade and engineer those weapons or suits until you've gathered materials after looting a few settlements. A classic chicken and egg self defeating loop. There are settlements that you can completely loot however without getting involved in any combat. There are no penalties for doing so, you don't need to rely on an anarchy faction and the systems you specifically need are in abundance, particularly at the moment. In this video I'm going to run through how to easily find the systems you need and what you need to do to start out absolutely hoovering up on foot materials right now. The systems I'm referring to have recently been vacated by the Thargoids and are all around the frontline areas of the current war zones. The easiest way I've found of quickly identifying them is to use the system status page of the Defence Council of Humanity website. The DCOH monitors and tracks the progress of the war and allows commanders to easily identify the systems we're after. Head to the link in the description and make sure you set your filters on the system page to be the same as those shown on screen now. You're essentially looking for systems in a state of recovery who still have more than a week left on their recovery time. The longer the recovery time the better. Head to one of the affected systems and start looking for Odyssey settlements that are shown as offline indicated by an X next to their icon on the left hand navigation panel of your ship. You're going to need at the very least a base level maverick suit, a bunch of E breaches which you can buy from anarchy systems or some fleet carriers and a functioning power regulator. If you don't have a regulator already just take on an odyssey power restoration mission and then dump the mission and keep the regulator. Once you have everything you need and you've identified a target settlement head down to the surface. When you arrive at the settlement it will in all likelihood be completely abandoned. You're not in any danger from Thargoid activity as they've been driven out of the system. The settlement will be offline um, and should be completely yours. There are some exceptions to that situation. Um, if you're not at a point where you're ready to engage in on foot combat yet you can just nip into super cruise really quickly, come straight back down again and then try again. But once you're down and comfortable first thing you need to do is jump into an SRV for reasons that will become apparent. Once you're in your SRV then you want to make a beeline for the power centre. The first thing we're going to do uh, is switch the power on which is why you need a power regulator. But we're not going to leave them with the power regulator because we need it again and we're mean spirited. So access your um, SRV's inventory, grab yourself a couple of E breaches and then go to the goods tab and grab your power regulator. Once you've got that you're ready to head inside. Something weird happened with Odyssey's lighting uh, when I was doing this. Um, when I get inside the building it should be completely dark but it wasn't but then all of a sudden it was. Don't know why that was, never seen it before, haven't seen it since. So I'm making a beeline for the reactor room here. Again there shouldn't be anyone here but <laughs> I can't help but carry a gun, <laughs> keep a gun out all the time in case there isn't and Frontier have slipped in face huggers or something. They haven't but you know. Okay so here's the power regulator. You'll obviously need a torch for this if you haven't got an engineered maverick suit like this or you haven't got night vision. Here's your first E breach so that goes on the power centre to get that up and running. 
easiest hack ever and we're in so we start up the regulator now and you'll see the reactor come online in a second go lights are on so all the doors and everything across the settlement will now be powered but we don't yet have access to it so the next place we're heading to is uh, for this particular settlement anyways the command center depends what sort of settlement you're at as to where you'll find um, the authorization scans and the alarms but that's what we're heading for so back to the SRV we're going to need another e-breach and here we are at the command center once again, use my all access pass. It's a great mechanic, this, I do like it. It's handy if you've got uh, a few energy cells on you as well, because you're going to be um, dumping energy into doorways until you, get, um, until you get this all up and running. That's mine. So I happen to know the layout of this particular settlement because I've done it a couple of times already. So we're running right into the security center now. Again, there's no one here. But I can't help but get my gun out and check my corners because you never know. But you do know, but you never know. This will be the last one. We're in. Straight away, slap an e-breach on authorization scans. This will unlock all the doors for you. Disabled, mine. And then over to the alarms, e-breach. That's the last of the e-breaches you'll need. Disable the alarms. The place is now yours. And you can loot with wild abandon. It is always possible that um, scavengers could get landed outside by dropship while you're doing this. Um, I've not seen it honestly, um, and I've done a fair few of these now. Um, I have had that happen at other settlements in at regular disabled settlements, but these um, AX ones, I haven't. I haven't seen a single scavenger dropship. That said it might happen so just be aware so I'm just completely going full on old mother Hubbard on this place and emptying it you will see messages um, just like in the bottom left hand side there from um, circling AX pilots um, again they're not they're not a danger to you And you won't get any Thargoids, as I said before. It's just a really, really easy way. You can obviously go in and you know clear out a settlement, uh, which I did in my last video. But um, this is if you if you if you're just starting the journey, and you haven't you have, you haven't got to the point yet where you're really confident um, with the first person stuff. This will get you there. So that hovering ship there, by the way, that's that's actually one of the... Uh, <laughs> that's an AX Orca, believe it or not. I was wondering what it was doing there. When you take off in your ship later, it's hovering there waiting for me to take off, basically. As soon as I take off, um, it fires a repair limpet. Which is really sweet. But also quite sinister. But it wasn't actually anything to worry about. So having completely looted the place, it's really important that you remember the last thing you do before you leave is take your power regulator back because you're going to need it again.
night vision on a maverick suit is just a glorious there's my power regulator thank you very much i say mine i nicked it but it's mine now and that's it done so to reset it all you need to do is get back in your ship head straight up kick in super cruise as soon as super cruise kicks in shut it down again and you'll only be about 10 20 kilometers away from the settlement you can just turn your ship around and head straight back again and the whole thing will have reset and you can do it all over again if you are new to all this and you're you're just starting out I'd highly recommend you engineer a maverick suit first you can see the specs of the maverick suit and weapon that I'm using um, on screen at the moment if you get your if you get a decent maverick suit up and running it just makes gathering the materials for any other weapons and any other suits that you've got in mind that much easier so i've kind of got a looting suit and then a full on combat suit here comes that limpet i was talking about it's very nice of him So that's the settlement reset completely and you just head back down again. So I always tend to land with the ships back to the settlement um, just because when you deploy the SRV it comes out facing backwards and you can immediately see what you're dealing with and also uh, if you do, for whatever reason, need to get back to your ship and take off your, and get out of there, you're already facing the right way. It's not super necessary, but... So on this occasion, you can see the moment I get out in the SRV, it's readily apparent that there are bad guys here already. If you're not yet confident, or you haven't yet got the, um, the equipment to, to get confident um, to kill these guys, um, it's not a problem, just get back in your ship recycle uh, through super cruise again come down and try again nine times out of ten i think when i come down to a, um, a planetary surface like this there isn't anybody there however once you've done a little bit of engineering um clear if you want to just for the for the laughs clearing these people out really isn't difficult at all you can either use the um the sniper method which i covered in my previous video which um, um i'll link below or you can go noisy which is what i did in this particular occasion So that's um, a random couple of rounds just to get their attention. What I call alamoing, because as soon as you fire, here they come. A couple of rounds just behind the left ear and they die. As long as you keep um, the situation quite controlled, so always know what's at your back. And I tend to, as I say, I tend to alamo most of these things, so I, I bring them to me if I can. That way I can control the combat much better, and it's, it's a lot less likely that I'll get snuck up on. So again, a couple of rounds in their face just to get their attention. They don't like that. I'm making quite a lot of noise at this point, so... Um, they start they start coming towards me on mass but you never you never really get overwhelmed at these settlements there there aren't really enough of them there they are i love the way they say shoot to kill rather than shoot to deeply offend telegraphing a grenade nicely for me here it comes that's going to be an emp so i just get out of the way Again, I keep the settlement in front of me and keep um, open desert to my back because I know I'm not going to get attacked from that direction. Pop a 
couple of rounds in their face just to annoy them and then bring them running towards me as soon as they're running towards me. This suit's really heavily engineered, so like this guy to my right just firing at me just isn't a problem. And after every engagement, I just make sure I reload. Quick scan. All these NPCs are going to be criminals, by the way, so you can scan them um, to pick up bounties as well. I didn't bother doing it on this particular occasion, but again, that's something you can do to earn a bit of extra cash. Okay, so there's another guy coming towards me there. He's obviously heard the racket. A couple of shots into his knees just to get his attention, and he's down. Another one there. <laughs> a, quick <laughs> a quick bullet in the face. <laughs> Like ammunition just isn't a problem either. The, these settlements are always absolutely covered in ammunition, so I tend to just, but with these people as well, just to keep them coming towards me and make sure they don't lose interest, I just liberally hose them until you can do that, and then down they go. This AR-50 is just, oh, it's oh, so good. Out of the two more traditional um, bottle chucker type weapons, uh, the C44 is far and away my favourite, but this AR-50 is lovely for the slightly, slightly longer ranged stuff. And that's this settlement clear. If you enjoyed this video be sure to like and subscribe to make sure you see all our content and if you'd like to help support our work here at the Burr Pit you can also become a patron just like the wonderful folks you see listed on screen right now gaining access to exclusive perks, content and community events.